Join me today as we drive to Namanga with the Subaru Outback Club. So this is the first place that we met. This is Shell Petrol Station along Mombasa Road. So this is our meetup point, which is actually the signature mall. So we were expecting over 50 uh, Subaru Outback uh, car owners to come with their vehicles for this fun drive. We arrived there early in the morning and we are waiting for other guys just to come in. And as you can see, we have uh, so many Subaru Outbacks uh, already lined up. Car owners now started filling in their tanks to make sure that they're full on gallons. We also had our own mechanic to just make sure that every car is well on the road and well serviced before the long journey ahead. And because it was a very special day for the Subaru Outback owners, some revolted into making sure that cars are clean, very clean, ahead of the day. Are you ready for the day? Awesome. <laughs> very excited. V very ready. And lo very ready. <laughs> very mindful. Very ready for Tuesday. Very ready for Tuesday. Uko pete yako? Uko pete yangu ma. Ah, tutakuwa na wewe. I was supposed to ride in this KTJ with this guy as he was alone, but I changed my mind when I saw this car. This car was so interesting. It had sunroofs, it was turbocharged, and it was the car that was known as Car Zero. Kazira is a car that sets the pace of the race and this is the car that I felt like I wanted to enjoy my ride with. So I started by seeing uh, what this car has. Tell me guys, who wouldn't want to ride in such a beautiful car? With dual exhaust, look at the aesthetics, look at the spoilers. This was going to be an awesome day. Everyone kept their eyes on this car. Even the photographers, the eyes were engraved on this car. They were loving it. I couldn't help myself, but I wanted to talk to the driver to just show me around this car and tell me what the car has that others do not have. Apparently, it started by lying that the car is an aesthetic car meaning it has no more additives but my viewer you know that is a lie so this is ni turbo charger ni turbo charger i need a turbo in stock ni stock stock allah ah ni cooling mode tu nimefanya aha change the the radiator aha change the top mount then put a clutch can at least keep the system clean here so and then change the intake. Oh, nice. And put a, a, a more reliable intake point. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't wow. know. So this has been a project car? Uh, kind of. For how long? Uh, since 2016. 2016? Uh, pole pole. So it's been a long time. Ah, it's been a long time. Very nice. Meet the event coordinator. His name is Nick. After about an hour of waiting, all the drivers met together to discuss the do's and don'ts of the fun drive. That is, to set the rules of what should be done on the road and what needs not to be done on the road. Hi guys. Hi. Songeni karibu kidogo. Msio gope. We don't bite. Hi, so so. Um, I hope everyone had a good night. And you know, kuna sababu alikuwa na chat hapo sijui 5 a.m. Kitu kwa gani matisa? I hope everyone is fresh. I hope all the drivers are fresh. Um, the, the key thing, first of all, let's remember that this is not a race. Whatever you do, this is not a race. We are driving on public roads, the other road users. So we have to observe all the traffic regulations uh, as per rules and NTSA and the traffic act. Uh, remember, if you are caught uh, contravening any traffic act, you're going to be on your own. <laughs> 
the, the, the group does not uh, they don't have any <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they don't, yeah, we don't have any liability for any traffic offenses so you will deal with the authorities as they deem fit now uh for today's run of course uh, we all know the destination is uh, namanga uh so first of all let me take the opportunity to thank everybody who is made it today i think this is a very good turnout uh i know you were very hopeful of expecting a big a big turnout but i didn't expect it was going to be this big so congratulations guys i think whether to gpgm a coffee here this being uh, officially the first big uh, run for legion of outbacks uh if we can build on this you can only imagine what the next one is going to be like so let's keep it up let's make sure for the next ones we'll always uh, have this turnout at least this this is now the benchmark we set the benchmark So next run runs should not be anything less than this. Now as we leave uh, I know there are still some cars where the stickers are being put on so maybe we we'll just wait kidogo uh, all the cars to be branded and then we can leave. So Kazero is going to leave then uh, about 15 minutes later in the train I don't know what they'll decide after at the end of but So Kazero is going to leave Uh Kazero will just be doing a hundred up with you know there there so no highway akuna 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 mali na kija naenda so just do a hundred up so anyway for purposes of uh, coordination uh, we have some radios that you're going to have with the strategic cars so you have Kazero we have the sweepers and you have the media team now it's very important that you stay between the sweeper car not Kazero ikita kwa mbele inaenda kuangalia mbele barabara ipoaje whatever we see we relay back so there are any obstacles there are any issues there are any challenges we <laughs> relay back to the trippers so the trippers we make sure that they put at any given point is organized so for for the members just make sure you stay with, between the trippers the trippers are designated they are the green stickers so if you see the green stickers those are the special category cars we have the sweeper cars we have the TIV or the medical car we have the zero car uh, i don't know if it's any other so those special category cars they have specific uh, roles i'm sure when you look at the, the drive brief all this uh, was uh, clearly explained by them now and the last thing i also want to mention now i know everybody here you know your car okay everybody you know your car <laughs> Uh you know what you've done to it <laughs> or what you've not done to it <laughs> you know the manufacturer did or did not do to it <laughs> so uh make sure as you're driving know your car know what it can do know what it can't do especially what it can't do and stay within those limits finally it was the time to leave i couldn't wait to start the ride and of course i chose car zero because i wanted to have the best experience in terms of speed and the, we we were just the two of us i couldn't wait to start it i just started by asking a few questions So this is where we were joining the main road and we picked it up so fast that I wish I had a second camera to capture the speed at which this car picked the pace. We finally came to our first stop where we were waiting for all the cars to come. The idea is just to make sure that we have one large motorcade of Subaru Outbacks and to make the drive more enjoyable and fun.
After about 30 minutes, we left for the second part of the journey. My driver now returned to being rather more serious on the on the road as uh, he was watching his speeds and also checking sure making sure that uh, he's observing the lane disciplines and also uh, safety on the road. Just a few hours after a long drive, we realized that one of us was facing an, an issue just uh, behind us. So we were the ones with the walkie-talkie. So we had the issue over the radio and we had to stop. Others were already on fire, as you could see. Uh, others were almost overtaking. Yeah, so we had to stop. Others were bored, but of course we are a team, so we had to wait for the guys who are behind us uh, to sort out the issue. The drivers could not stop, but just to mention how fun it was so far, uh, they kept on uh, talking to one another, how uh, there have been different encounters on the road, and yes, it was an amazing experience for them. <laughs> yeah, so guys, we are on our way to Namanga. Uh, we actually at Bisil. So, we want to form like a, a motorcade of Subaru Outbacks as we go. We then left for the final part of the journey.
after some hours of driving, uh, we reached a place, then cancer resort. I was tasked with just uh, making sure that there was enough parking for each and every car that was coming over 50 cars. So the guy, the the guy, just walked me inside the a resort, uh, showing me around, showing me that there's enough space uh, for parking and everything. So in your parking yard. Oh, in the parking yard. So park up. Yeah, park up. exit. Yeah. And I Narodi. Yeah, so uh, this is where we're gonna be having our lunch. Uh Enganaza Resort. Or in the sport club, eh? Yeah, so on your way to Namanga, if you need a one-stop restaurant where you can get meat, the same one called Ambuzi, Nyama, so our cars will be coming here. There are over 50 cars, there's enough parking for everyone. There's already food ready for everyone. Uh, na, in terms of bay, one kg. Na cha cha cha. Jambo. Nongia kiswahili? Yeah. 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 Nongia kiswahili vizuri? Uku aje? Dia Dia Longoi. Dia Longoi. Dia Longoi. Oh. Dia Longoi. Ah. So, apa ndio mnaka ama apa mnafanya tu biashara? Apa ndio mnaka? Apa ndio mnaka? Oh, bamo iko hapa ndani. Ah. Wacha tuangalie huko ndani kwa nani nini wametuanda. Yeah, so we had enough food. This was just pre-lunch, yeah. This is just uh uh, that that meal that we start with just before the main lunch we had like eight goats still to be slaughtered for the day so this was just uh finish off the, the hunger that we had after the long ride but yeah the food was uh, very delicious and i liked it Okay. Now your field is very big. Yeah. So it's a very big like one. We have showers. Oh, showers are open and done. Okay. Yeah. After confirming that the parking was good and uh, enough for every vehicle, we now had a, 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 a green light. We now had a green light for the cars to come in one by one, uh, filling up the spaces. And of course the parking was enough for everyone. Everyone had enough uh, ample space for parking as we went to eat some nyama choma. <laughs> <laughs>